separate interface. But you do have four camera inputs, you can use them for whatever you want. But you have HDMI, you can connect iPhone, Android, a wireless mirroring device, and you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Quality product since 2002. See description below the video for product information. Must expand description section of watching this video on mobile device. This is a demo of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and HDMI smartphone mirroring, plus four video input interfaces compatible with Mercedes Command. This interface does not replace a factory radio or a factory screen. Interface enhances the factory screen with features such as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring, and extra cameras. All factory features work as before. This interface is see-through. The vehicle does not detect that there is an interface installed in the car. This product is 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. This product is 100% automotive grade product. Okay, first let's demo Apple CarPlay. All Apple CarPlay controls are done using factory command joystick. Left, right, up, down, back, radio button is a Siri. Okay, first let's demo Apple CarPlay. Go ahead and enter the CarPlay mode. And so the CarPlay, it's same as 2018 Mercedes S-Class W222. Basically, you see this blue highlight? Wherever the blue highlight is, that's where you locate it. So you got phone, maps, messages, and so on. We got a bunch of apps. One thing to remember, you never have to worry about updating Apple CarPlay. It updates automatically. You see all these apps that I have? They all appear right here on the screen. And as I rotate the joystick, it highlights where I'm located and it just rotates. You can hear the joystick. As I'm scrolling, it changes. So you got your three recent apps on top, home button. In the center console, by pressing this radio button, it brings on Siri on the screen. So you got Siri. The return button right here is what exits out of the CarPlay mode into the main menu. So right there, we exited out. To enter back, we're back. You can, of course, rearrange the apps any way you like. So if you go into the settings of the iPhone and into the CarPlay settings, you can go ahead and set applications any way you like. So this is your CarPlay settings right there. Let me just change the focus. All right, so let's say I want to change phone and maps. So as you see, maps are in the first, second location. Now we're going to put maps in the first location. See right there, now the maps are in the first location. I want to move maps to the fourth location. I'm going to move them on the phone. Look at this. Maps in the fourth location. This is CarPlay, so your phone stays locked. And today or 20 years from now, you never have to worry about updating this. All updates only happen inside your smartphone. So whatever is updated on the smartphone, it's going to automatically appear here. We're shooting this video right before iOS 12. So when new apps are allowed, Waze and Google Maps and others, you never have to update anything you installed in the car. Once the iPhone is updated, it will automatically appear here. So you never ever have to worry updating anything. Whatever apps are available on the phone, whatever updates are available, they're all here. They update here, now, and up until Apple supports Apple CarPlay. So pretty much forever. So CarPlay is simple. I mean, CarPlay is identical in every single car in the world. Just like all iPhones are the same, all the menus are the same, same thing with CarPlay. We got a bunch of apps installed. As you can see, I'm changing the pages of apps. Whatever apps are allowed, this is what you can have. So I'm just going to demo a simple app for you. So you see, we're stopped at TuneIn Radio. Press Enter. And TuneIn Radio opens up. We're on LT signal. We're pretty low on a signal, so it's going to take a second to find anything. So TuneIn Radio is loading on the screen right now. Now it's loaded. Let's go into music. You see as I'm rotating the joystick, the blue highlight moves. Go into music. It's all done by the factory joystick. 
We're gonna go, let's say, into 2000s music. Press enter. Give it a second. Okay, that's it, it's loaded. And you can control, you see, it's highlighting. 30 seconds back, pause. You see it's pause now. Play, now it's playing again. You can see it's playing. 30 second forward we can do. Now the music is playing, you can either hit the home button. You see right here, home. And it's gonna get out into the home screen. Or, you see those top three on the left, those are your recent apps. You can enter one of your recent apps. There you go, it's back into the app. You can go into maps. Right there, I'm entering maps. You can go to destinations. You can either enter destination by voice or you can enter destination by keyboard. If you go on top right, you got a keyboard. And see, you can highlight whatever words you want and enter, 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 and it's gonna find the address you like so you can do search. So this is like same as 2018 Mercedes. And right there, you got your options. And back button in the center console works as a back button for CarPlay. So back, 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 and you're back to the home screen. You can do phone calls, obviously. If you go into messages, you can hear your messages. If you go into phone calls, you can do phone calls. So once we enter phone calls, you'll be able to show contacts and see we're in a keypad. We can dial the number. So see, look at the highlights. So I'm going to dial 212. Two. Five, 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 one, two, one, two. And I can go ahead and click call. And it's going to go ahead and, you know, call out for us. And that's it. And then I can hang up. And it's going to hang up the call. And go right back into the menu. And that's it. So, CarPlay is CarPlay in any car. It is identical. If you have a 2018 car with CarPlay, it's the same CarPlay. Because CarPlay lives only one place and one place only. It is inside your phone. CarPlay does not exist anywhere else. So all the updates, all the CarPlay stuff are inside the phone. That's a CarPlay demo. Okay, let's demo Android Auto. All controls are done via factory joystick. Full Android Auto controls with the factory knob and factory back button. Okay, let's demo Android Auto. Again, with a joystick, you're gonna highlight Android Auto, click Enter. This is your Android Auto. This is standard Android Auto, same in every car. With Android Auto, you never have to worry about updates. It all updates automatically, directly inside the Android. So the updates are done on the phone. Today or 20 years from now, you never have to worry about updates. Once Android update something or add apps it will automatically appear on Android Auto on the bottom is your menu so it's a night mode now but this is your navigation it enters the navigation and over here you have the choice of Waze or Google Maps and you can switch they only allow two for now so Google Maps and over here you got Waze okay so whichever you select that's the one that's going to appear now you got a phone, this is your home, this is where all your home stuff, the phone calls, the music, the apps. This is your music apps here, so we got one installed. You push the joystick to the right to open the menu. So it opens the menu where you can do the selections and you see as I'm rotating the joystick it highlights certain stuff. So keep in mind Android Auto is same in any car. This is like Android Auto in 2018 Mercedes S-Class W222 or any other car. This is the same CarPlay is found in modern day Mercedes. Okay, so when an audio app, if you want to get out of the CarPlay, go to the last menu here, click it once, and then go down, click it again, and then return to going to exit into the menu right here. So it's double tap on this one. This is your home menu. You can see the weather, open it up. Whatever Android Auto allowed for you to have this is what you're gonna have the back button works as a back button and you know you get all the features of Android Auto just like any other car Android Auto keep in mind only exists in your phone one difference from Apple CarPlay to Android Auto in order to make calls on Android Auto a car has to have Bluetooth that's how Android Auto is designed Apple CarPlay calls through your phone speakers and the microphone Android Auto must have Bluetooth in the car regular standard Bluetooth nothing special because it 
uses your Bluetooth connectivity to your car to make phone calls. So a standard Bluetooth connection is going to be used to make phone calls. So again, on the bottom, you got your navigation. So far, it's two apps, Google Maps and Waze. Your phone call, home, all your music apps. So you push down the joystick. So you rotate, but to get into the menu on the bottom, you push down. If you want to open the menu, you press the joystick to the left and it opens up the menu. And whatever Android apps you can download, you know, if you have more than one app here, you'll be able to select from different apps, but we only have one app installed so far. That's pretty much it for the demo. And to get out, the last one, and you go down again and press it again, and you go to return to, and it gets out. Now let's demo HDMI. For this demo, we're going to show you iPhone. So the iPhone is connected. It's pretty simple. Everything you see on the screen is mirrored identically. There's not much to mirror except to tell you that everything works. Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, all apps work 100% without a limit. There is no limit to apps. Everything works 100%. So let's show you like a Netflix app. For example, Netflix. Netflix. So Netflix works right on the screen and we can play a whatever we got here so I'm just gonna play let's find something to play here we're gonna play a preview of an Iron Fist this is the preview that they have this is the movie playing right on the screen so Netflix works with the only people in the world that have this interface where Netflix is 100% supported. So basically mirroring is simple. What you see here, it makes exact image. It's mirroring. It makes a mirror image. So it is identical copy. Your phone screen is identical copy to the car screen. There is no limit. Everything is mirrored 100%. No matter what you do. So. Anything you connect to HDMI, just like in your house, you're going to see here. This is regular standard HDMI input. To get out of this, press telephone menu button. So let's go over controls for a second so we remember what the controls do. Interface controls. All right. So the telephone Navi mode enters the screen. On the dial pad, you got a clear button. The clear button over here in the middle, that enters the interface, the shorter beep, and then you get the longer beep that gets out of it. Keep in mind, when you enter interface mode, all these buttons, so this, 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 and this controls our interface. When you get out, you control the car again. So now when in interface mode, telephone navy button gets out of the mode so let's say if you're in an HDMI mode and you want to get out to the menu mode press it once this is a back button it works for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to go back this is your Siri button in Apple CarPlay and the rest of the buttons the volume everything works as before Installation procedure is identical for Mercedes S-Class 2007 to 2013 and Mercedes CL Coupe 2007 to 2014. In this video, we're going to show you installation on Mercedes W221 S-Class 2007-2009 and Mercedes CL Class C216 2007-2009 and same installation will apply to Mercedes W221 S Class 2010 to 2013 and CL Coupe Mercedes 2010 to 2014. Brief product description. We're going to be installing an interface that has HDMI input and HDMI input can be used for connecting any smartphone or wireless mirroring adapter so either direct you can connect iPhone directly or Android directly if you have output as HDMI from your phone or you can connect wireless mirroring adapter for iPhone or Android or any other device. Now, we also can give you this interface with built-in Apple CarPlay. This is all made in USA and you can purchase one 
same adapter but we will pre-install inside Apple CarPlay with Android Auto so you can have mirroring which is one connection and then separately Apple CarPlay and Android Auto depending on the phone you have so instead of mirroring you will have through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which we will show you which is controlled with the Mercedes factory iDrive joystick so this joystick right here this factory joystick is going to be used to control Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in the car so it is identical to 2018 Mercedes with factory CarPlay all controls through the factory joystick so you're not adding anything external you have your back button, you have your controls, you have your enter button, so basically you have all the controls right through the factory. Alright, so for the first step, we're going to go ahead and remove the radio. So this radio has to be removed. Radio removal procedure. Radio removal is very easy in this car. It takes a couple of minutes only. First, remove this panel. using a plastic tool like this simply go from the side and remove it's very easy all you have is three clips here and the panels remove put it on the side you will find two torque screws on the bottom to remove screws use T20 torque screwdriver using a T20 torque screwdriver remove the screws one on each side. The radio removal is very, very easy. Put the screws on the side and make sure not to lose them. Then open the cover and using something like this, open two holders over here on each side. You got two covers. I will show you later. Behind the covers, you will also find two T20 torque screws. Remove them as well. They are located in each corner. Remove radio cover. Then the fascia just comes out. As you can see, you got one, two in each corner. These are the clips you got to open. You see, you open them with the tool. You got two torque screws here and you got two torque screws on the bottom of this panel. So the panel comes just right out within a minute. Then protect the leather over here. Inside you will find, all the way inside you will find two and two, four T20 Torx screws. Remove them, but don't worry, they will not fall out. The way they're designed, the screws are held in the back so you don't have to try to catch them. We'll show you once removed. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. After you remove the screws, simply pull on the radio and it's going to come out. These are the screws that I want to show you. As you see, they do not fall out. The way they're made, there's something holding them in the back. So when you unscrew them, they're not going to fall out. They will stand protected in its place. So now that you remove the radio, we're going to continue to installation of the plug and play harness. Plug and play wiring harness installation. After you gain access to the back of the radio, you want to remove the connector that is located on the back side over here. You want to unplug that connector and install the supplied plug and play harness. We give you 100% plug and play harness. The harness plugs in on the back. You have audio RCAs, so you can hear audio through the car speakers. And you have a camera input RCA. That's for 0709. For 10 to 14, 
you will have to run audio into the glove box if your vehicle have auxiliary jack. So 7 to 09, the audio goes into the plug and play harness that we supply it with. 10 to 14 has a different radio, so S class 10 to 14, you routing the audio into the glove box. And you can also install the camera at the radio. So, but this harness installation is identical. So you unplug the harness from the back. Again, access to this connector right here. Once you access the connector, you can slide it out. You see on the side there's a tab. You pull it down and the connector slides right out. So you can slide the connector out. So you see the connector slides out of the cap. The release tab is right here and it slides out. After you slide it out, you take the connector that we supply it with and slide it in. So you're going to go ahead and slide in the connector that we gave you. All right, now that you have installed the connector, you want to connect our supplied connector into the factory connector, just like that. All right, that's it. Your plug and play harness is installed. Now, installation of the wiring harness of the video interface. You take the harness that came with the interface, you got on that harness that came with the interface you got this connector that plugs in into number two you see you got a connector number two you plug it in you take the audio RCAs you got two audio RCAs and you connect them together with the audio RCAs on the plug and play harness so this is the audio RCAs on plug and play harness you're gonna connect them together using barrel connector or other male to male RCA those get connected together and then on number one over here you got on the plug and play harness you got number one you put the supplied loop that we gave you and you put it in so basically you install the plug and play harness back of the radio number one right here you got a number one let's focus on that that is a label one, right there, number one. You put loop, and then you got number two. You put the plug and play harness. That's the harness that's going to plug in into the interface. You only use number one for programming, as we're gonna show you in the next step. If your radio is not programmed, we're gonna show you how to program it. But number number one is installed this plugs in into the interface and you're done it's all plug and play so the entire installation is about five minutes it's super simple activating features of the radio auxiliary audio input camera input if required and the mandatory video input if you need to program radio features you remove this from number two and remove the loop that we gave you from number one you move the loop into number two and move the interface into number one to do the programming so if you need to program features that are not programmed in the radio that we give you ability to program you start with loop on number two and number one is going to be the programming so the same interface that is used for HDMI or CarPlay or mirroring can be used for programming of features just you gotta move the loops around so now that we install the plug and play harness we have put loop on number two and we have put our main interface harness that came in a box the main interface harness with this plug onto number one we're gonna show you how to do the programming. And after the programming, we're gonna do the rest of the installation. Perform initial programming of the interface without the interface being connected to the car. Download the software loader from the website. The process will take less than one minute. Loader is compatible with Apple computers as well as Windows PC. Now we're going to perform programming. Programming is very easy. 
as you see we downloaded the software that only took about 30 seconds to download install it and open the software using a regular USB cable so we're going to be using standard USB to micro USB cable like this it's a very standard cable nothing special so after you use the cable you take this end you plug it into your Mac or PC computer plug it in and at the other end of the cable we're going to plug it into the interface we're gonna go ahead and click find device button it's gonna appear here so we got Mercedes S class video in motion OBD programming first step is we need to program the software into the interface without the interface being connected to the car but it is very simple right so for example we're gonna go with Mercedes typically it's gonna be blank interface when you receive S class and then we're gonna select the year 2007 click the search button and then for this particular demo video we're gonna select video in motion for cameras and hit install and the installation as you can see it's gonna take approximately you know maybe 30 seconds so the percentage is going as you can see right on the screen and it's going to update the interface with the firmware we need when you receive this interface it's gonna be blank so the interface that you buy has two purposes purpose number one is to activate features of the car whether it's 2007 2009 SCL class Mercedes or 2010 2014 S or CL class Mercedes so first step that we're doing is we're programming this interface to act as an activator of features we're going to be able to activate one of the three features all three together backup camera auxiliary jack or secondary video input all right so device settings are updated now what we're going now connect the interface to the car and connect the laptop to the interface by a USB cable. What we're going to do is go into feature activation tab right here. This is the feature activation tab. And in the feature activation tab, we got three features over here. So the features are as following. Turn on rear camera input. So if your car doesn't have a backup camera and you want to install a backup camera, you set this check mark to on. Turn on auxiliary video input. Auxiliary video input activates both audio and uh, video, but we're using this for CarPlay or mirroring, so we're also activating navigation input. Even though your car has a navigation, we're not actually turning on the navigation. We're turning on secondary navigation input. This car has two navigation inputs. One, the primary navigation, there's secondary navigation. So we're going to activate those. We're activating rear camera if you're not installing rear camera you don't have to activate it we're activating auxiliary audio input if your car has auxiliary audio you don't have to set this off the last one you always have to do it this turns on secondary navigation input so we're activating all three now we got to configure you're gonna press the configure button but watch the screen of the car this is what's going to happen on the screen of the car you see the screen I'm gonna go ahead and press configure on the computer watch the screen it says diagnosis and the screen is going to reboot and you're gonna see the Mercedes logo that's it which means the screen accepted the programming on the computer we're gonna see programming complete we can close the software and disconnect the USB we no longer need it now we want to check that our features work how do we check for the features we're gonna go into audio and see if inside the audio we have auxiliary so now we have auxiliary in the audio then we want to check if we got the rear camera now in the car so let's see if we got the rear camera start the car check for the rear camera now we have the rear camera in the car and now we want to check if we have secondary navigation it's going to be under video tab and it's going to see it's going to say navi now this is a blank screen that means we got a secondary navigation if your vehicle does not have the video tab it is fine 
on the center console by pressing telephone navi so on the center console you got next to the hazard switch you got telephone navi button which is right here and the telephone navi button telephone navi button the center console is used to enter the interface mode right here is your telephone navi button this button right here is the button that is responsible for your activation of the video input if your car does not have the video tab over here so if your Mercedes has just four tabs which is an 07 only you can use telephone Navi to switch even when you're driving you can use telephone Navi to switch into the screen so we know the programming worked now we have to take the same interface and reprogram it for CarPlay feature so that's what we're going to do do not forget to program the interface all interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using windows or mac computer apple carplay update the update process takes approximately two minutes this is the software already open on the screen software is available for windows and mac based computers step one download the updater it takes approximately 30 seconds step two open it takes one second step three get a cable usb to micro usb usb and you're going to connect it to the computer micro usb and you're going to connect into the interface then install appropriate software so just for the test purposes we're going to install jeep wrangler and hit install and the installation starts and the entire process is probably going to take right about 30 seconds and then after it's installed you basically do install it in the car and don't forget to set your dip switches in the video it's going to tell you whether they go, go up or down and the configuration entire configuration on Windows or Mac computer will take you no longer than two minutes that's everything that's downloading the software and installing so installing the software and then the last step is configuring which is self-explanatory it's everything is in plain English right we don't make it complicated there's no learning curve to this as you can see I hit search I hit install it's only one button so there is no learning curve to use this it's basically all automated it sits as 99% right now that's gonna go away and it's gonna say see device completed click close after programming the interface install supply loop to number one on the plug and play harness and install interface wiring harness to number two after programming is complete on the harness that you have installed in the car we have this harness installed I'm just showing you to you so you can see it you take the loop that you have and connect it to number one okay so we have number one right here and we want to connect this is our number one we want to put the loop in number one and we want to install the interface into number two so the interface connector this interface harness that goes into number two and now the interface connector we're going to take this connector and plug it into the interface once you plug it in you should hear the interface make a beep just like that and the interface you see air conditioning control in the center console press the on button for the radio to come on and the radio is on once the radio is on you can press either go into video or press telephone navy button in the center console and you're gonna enter what's known a blank screen interface is activated by pressing the clear button on the phone dial pad in the center console now open the dial pad in the middle so over here we got a dial pad let me show you so we're gonna go to the dial pad open the dial pad and you gotta hit the clear button by pressing the clear button this controls that we have is now going to control the interface on the screen in Apple CarPlay so clear button press and hold you hear the beep now we're entering the menu of the interface you're not going to be able to control the car with this joystick anymore if you want to control the car again you got to press clear again to hear that longer chime and you'll be able to control the car again 
So let's go ahead and press clear button. Now that we have the interface, we have HDMI input, which you can connect any HDMI source to it. We got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is optional feature that you have to purchase and we'll pre-install it inside the interface. And you got four video inputs, which are four cameras that can be manually selected. On this particular car, if you want automatic cameras, you have to buy an additional interface. For free, you get a rear camera input, but if you want all four cameras automatic, you have to buy a separate interface but you do have four camera inputs you can use them for whatever you want but you have HDMI that you can connect iPhone Android or wireless mirroring device and you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto reassemble the vehicle and enjoy the product thank you for watching please click the logo on the left hand side to subscribe to the channel subscriptions work on smartphones tablets and computers please like the video please click the notification bell and please leave a comment about this video. If you want to watch another video, please click the video on the right hand side.